Let's start off with the blank meteor pad leaderboard here and see what we can do. First of all, let's add the accounts package, accounts password right there, and accounts UI. Put some login buttons. Save that. And now we have a full login system. What else can we do with packages? Let's have a look. Uh, I'd like to change your name. Let's add another package. This editable text package. And down here where we see a player name. Change it to editable text collection players and the field we change is the name. Save that. And all of a sudden that name is editable. Let's make that number editable as well. Again the collections players, this time the field is score, but the type is a number. So we save that, Let's see what we get. Yeah. There we go, now we can update that number. Yep, looks like it saved the right type in the database as well. That's good. Alright, what's our on a WYSIWYG editor on that? Let's do that. Just uh, come up to this field, WYSIWYG equals true. Save that. Ah, this looks good. Fold that. A strike through on this one. Save that. Good, good. Okay. Now we have um, some rich text editing. But if we select this player up here, notice the HTML instead of the rich text, so a selected name there. Let's triple stash that. Save that. Ah, better. Now I've just made some changes to that person's name. I'd like to be able to undo them. I can't because there's no undo and redo button up here, but let's let's see what we can do with packages and see if we can put some of those in. Let's put some transactions in. And up top here, just before the login buttons, we'll put a div, position it to the right. And in that div we'll put some undo redo buttons. Save that. What we'll also do is go down here to the common JS and tell the editable text widget to use transactions. Uh -huh. Now we can undo those silly changes we make. So let's Cross out add Lovelace's name and then undo that and redo that and undo that. Well, what's that with half a dozen lines of code? We've got a full login system. We'll see we're editing. Undo redo stack. 